Okay, this is going to be um, a let's play for Black Magic for the Commodore 64. This, um, kind of hard to pin down what my very favorite Commodore 64 game was. Uh, but this is, it's uh, in the top five at least. Uh, yum, yum, yum. That really hit the spot. Every time you get some food when you don't already have any food, you get that message. That's a spell scroll that I just got. <clears throat> These plant monsters are pretty tough to kill. You can only, only if you get the arrow time right will you kill it like that. Get these arrows there, there's a box of arrows. Um, but yeah, this was one of my favorite games uh, as a kid uh, on the Commodore 64. I thought the graphics were really good uh, compared to like other Commodore 64 games and whatnot. That thing that I just accidentally hit was a troll, which is pretty annoying, but sometimes he can be really nice because if you have food and he. Uh, <clears throat> and, he, and he touches you. That was a rock, which. Okay, come on. If First off, the troll, um, if you have food and he touches you, he will either give you unlimited arrows for a limited time or unlimited spells. So at the right time, it could be really helpful. Fortunately, I could use some unlimited arrows right now because I just ran out of arrows. I'm going to try to see if I can blink over to the other side. Wasting spells, but uh, I don't have any more arrows. Okay, there you go. Made it across. That was annoying. But let's go. This game uh, depends on beating it. Depends on luck in a lot of ways. Shit. Luck, as in uh, what variety of items are lying around in the level? Because it's oh, it's random. Every time you play this game, uh, spell scrolls, the foods. And the arrow boxes will always be in different places. And there will be a varying amounts of each item, each type of item as well. So, even though when I was a kid I played the hell out of this game, I loved it a lot. I beat it so many times. When I was doing my test plays um, of the game, uh, I died a lot. I didn't get all the way through the game. And I was having problems with servers having, uh, now I have unlimited arrows. Uh, some uh, emulators not having the same game functions working right and whatnot. So, it's kind of a pain, but, uh, even now I'm not sure this is gonna totally work. Um, when I finally figured out uh, a way to get this game to work for a let's play, <coughs> then I tried recording it and um, Hypercam doesn't work well with uh, the other emulator I work. It slows everything down too much and the sound goes crazy so try not to get hit by that thing. It's getting kind of the feeling that there's not enough arrows on this particular randomization of this uh, playthrough. We'll keep trying to go on here. Pretty much all the main items, whether it be arrows or spells or food, 
if you don't have enough of them, you just can't beat the game. Um, but food is probably more important than arrows even. Because you can kind of not kill those plant monsters and uh, just keep going anyways and use spells. Um, food you definitely need. Those little pink things and we'll see a, more of them down below here. See all these little pink things? Get two more scrolls, spell scrolls. These little pink guys in the white blinking things. Okay, I have unlimited spells, but I don't really need unlimited spells right now. At this point, it would have been nicer to have unlimited arrows. But unlimited spells can be extremely useful later on in the game. When you, especially when you get the conjure spell, when I go up a few ranks, then uh, you can use the unlimited spell casting to uh, heal yourself up a lot. Which is very, very helpful. Anyways, these pink guys, they're prisoners. They've been imprisoned by Zagrim. Uh, I guess the evil wizard that's caused all this problems to come across the land. And they're imprisoned souls. Should have not gotten that eye. And that's what I just got there. And you see in the bottom right corner, there's an eye now that's moving around and blinking. That's pretty much the main object. Or at least the first primary main object of the game. You have to go around collecting the the eyes. There's a bat there. Because Zagrim, the evil wizard, uh, took the six eyes of the good wizard and scattered them along the land. And you therefore have to collect the eyes again. <coughs> and, um,. And then you can then go on to defeating Zagrim. But you first have to get the eyes before um, you could do anything. Um, because you can't even, there's basically two maps to this game. And you can't get into the second map until you get all the eyes. I wish the rock would have came, but it hasn't. Um, came earlier and I had to shoot it because it was just gonna take me to places I didn't want to go, so. The benefit of not using the rock is because usually you'll get more experience points by walking because you have to kill all the monsters. The negative is that because it takes more time uh, you run out of health and food and all that kind of stuff so we'll see how it goes here rock's still not coming around the troll keeps coming around a lot and the way I'm doing this level uh, or the game uh, in general and whole is pretty important like I said, I played this game a lot when I was a kid, and you ha there was a really cool map that came with the game too. It was very helpful, very detailed, and I used it a lot. And it, if you don't get the eyes in the correct order, the game will probably be impossible to beat. There might be other ways to beat, uh, to do this, but... I haven't really tried every single possible route. But I kind of feel that maybe this is the only way to do it. <clears throat> because if you do, if you get like, when you start the game there's an eye right above you, but if you get that, then uh, it makes things pretty difficult. Uh, 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pause this, end this video, but let me just say that, uh, yeah, it's if you get the first eye, every time you get an eye, more monsters come, and then harder monsters come, the more eyes you get, as you'll see later on. So, uh, you have to get the eyes and the pattern, basically, that I do it through in this playthrough. Um, so, uh, we'll continue the next video, and you'll see some of the things I'm talking about.